In this video, we're going to analyze a combination circuit. The circuit is connected to an 8-volt battery and three resistors. The first thing we're going to do is to combine the resistance of resistor 1 and 2. Since R1 and R2 are in parallel, we're going to use our resistors in parallel equation, which is 1 over R1, 2, which because I'm combining 1 and 2, I'm going to label it R1, 2, is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6, which gives me 4 over 6. Now to find R1, 2, I'm going to have to take the reverse of that, which is 6 over 4, which is 1.5 ohms. So the equivalent resistance for R1 and R2 is 1.5 ohms. Then I'm going to combine these two resistors. These two are in, in, are in series now, so I'm just going to add them and 2.5 plus 1.5 is 4, so 4 ohms. And our battery is 8 volts. Okay, so I'm going to fill in my uh, total e resistance or my equivalent resistance for the circuit, which is 4 ohms. To find the current, I'm going to use I is equal to V over R ohms law. So I'm going to take 8 divided by 4 and I get 2. So it's going to be 2 amps. And uh, if I look, take a look at my circuit here, I know that there's going to be 2 amperes going through the battery. There's also going to be 2 amperes going through R3 as well. So R3 will also have 2 amps because it's on the same path. And then it splits at this point here. It's going to split here and it's going to split here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Ohm's law again and we're going to calculate V uh, for R3 is equal to uh, IR. V equals IR. So 2 times 2.5 and I get 5 over here. And so the voltage drop across R3 is 5. Um, I know that the uh, voltage of the battery is 8. So if the drop across R3 is 5, that means across here, the voltage across R1 and also the voltage across R2 is going to have to be 3 uh, because you have to, um, whatever the increase the battery has, when you go around, you're going to have a drop that's equal to the increase of the battery. So this is going to be 3 and 3. Then I'm going to go back and use um, Ohm's law I equals V over R. So it's going to be 3 over 2, which is 1.5, 3 over 6, which is 0.5. Um, a couple things to note is that if you were to add these two numbers, you get 2. And that's because uh, the current through this path over here and the current through this path over here, through R2 over here, um, they came from this 2 ampere current over here. And then once they reconnect back in here, you're going to get two amperes of current again. Okay. And then for the power, we're just going to use our P equals I V equation. So uh, two times eight, we get 16. 1.5 times five times three, we get 4.5. 0.5 times three, we get 1.5. And two times five, and we get 10. And notice that when you add these all up, you get 16 uh, because uh, each of these uh, power is how much energy you're using every second. And so the 16 is just telling you um, the total amount of energy you're using up each second, which is the sum of um, the power of each of the resistors. Now let's take a look at another combination circuit where we have a series branch within a parallel circuit. So this is also connected to a 6 volt battery and it's got three resistors. And the first thing we're going to do is to find the equivalent resistance for R1 and R2. Uh, since they are in series, we can just go ahead and add them up. Now we're going to combine the 6 ohm and the 3 ohm. Since they're in parallel, we're going to use the parallel equation. So 1 over REQ is going to be equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3, which is 3 over 6. We also need to take the inverse since our REQ is in the denominator. So REQ is going to be 6 over 3, or 2 ohms. So the equivalent resistance of this combination circuit is going to be 2 ohms over there. To find the current, we're going to take, uh, we're going to use Ohm's law, which is uh, V over R, V over R, so 6 divided by 2, we get uh, 3 uh, amperes. The next step is to notice that R1, R2 is in parallel with R3, and both of them are connected um, to the battery. Uh, when you have a, 
resistors that are connected to a battery directly in parallel, uh, then they will have the same voltage as the battery. Now R1 is not going to have 6 volts because it's it's connected to R2. So R1 plus R2 will be 6 volts, and but R3 will be 6 volts uh, because this end is connected to this end of the battery and this end is connected to this end of the battery. Uh, so R3 will have also 6 volts. And then next step is to find the current uh, through the uh, through R3 by using our Ohm's law, so V over R, so 6 divided by 3, and we get uh, 2 amperes. Uh, the next step is to think about current here. So we know that the current through the battery is 3 amperes. And then they split over here. Uh, and so uh, some of it is going to go through R3, and some of it will go through R1 and R2. Uh, and we, we need to have they need to add up to uh, 3 amperes. We know that 2 amperes go through uh, R3, so that means 1 ampere is going through R1 and R2. So I'm going to put 1 here and 1 here. Then we're going to go back to Ohm's law, and we're using V is equal to IR. So um, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 4 is 4. And notice that if you add up 2 plus 4, we do get 6 volts because this end of R1 and R2 branch and this end is touching the battery, the two ends of the battery, so they need to have the same voltage. Uh, next, we're going to uh, calculate the power, and uh, we're going to use our power equation, P equals IV. So the current is 3, the voltage is 6, so we have 18. And uh, for uh, resistor 1, it's 1 times 2 is 2. Resistor 2, 1 times 4 is 4, and resistor 3, 2 times 6, and we get 12. And once again, if you add up the power here, uh, how much energy is used by each of the components, each of the resistors, you get the total amount, which is 18 uh, watts.